Okay, so today we're gonna rewatch uh, yesterday's um, FTP test, so my functional threshold power test, which I elected to use um, a time trial on Zwift and uh, just do my 20 minute effort there with no prior effort beforehand apart from a standard warm up. Um, <clears throat> you can go and watch it in its entirety if you want to. But if not, then this is what this little recap is for, to bring you up to date with with everything. Because really, it was, um, I, I think, I'm, I mean, I'm happy with it. I ended up doing, spoiler alert, uh, 333 watts is my new FTP, which I think is like 5.6, is it 5.6, 5.7 watts per kilo, something like that. Um, so I averaged 350 watts. Now, 22 days before this, I tested to give myself some accurate numbers because accurate numbers are better than uh, better numbers um, when it comes to testing because that's the whole idea of um, you know moving on and just making sure that you're doing the right thing. And there's lots of software and programs that programs that help. Um, model what you're capable of doing and I'll talk about that in a second but um, I went into this not actually probably in my best condition but because of where I am in my current like training cycle and everything like that I had to just do it like I couldn't wait like I knew my tr my my training was working obviously, because, I mean, you'd expect my fitness to increase after having a month off. Um, I knew it was improving, so I had to test at some point. Now, I could have, like, waited until I was, like, you know, in perfect preparation and fresh and everything else. But by doing that, I'd be losing valuable training days as well. So what's more important to me in this situation? Accurate numbers or the best possible numbers I could achieve? And so I did summarize at the end of this test by saying that I wasn't doing this to, you know, get a, a massive improvement. I was doing it to find what my numbers are on, on the day because today, filming this the day after, I've gone out and I've done two hours on the road this morning and I felt brilliant. I probably felt better than I did yesterday. Does that mean I'm going to test today? No, um, because, you know, there's no need and there's there's almost no reason to um, because if if you're always if you're always chasing and constantly trying to 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 improve that number at the end of the day that FTP isn't the be all end all it's how you use it and everything like that but um, yeah uh, anyway I, I I ramble so I've sped this up for your sanity and. Looking at it, like I paced it as good as I thought I could. Like I'd written down here my pacing strategy. So 340 watts for the first five minutes, 350 for the next 10 or until 10 minutes, 360, 375, etc. etc. Um, however, it all comes down to how you feel as well. And I got to the turn. And I never really do FTP tests indoors. It's only because the weather is pretty shocking that I'm doing it indoors. But it'll be interesting if I start doing them outdoors soon um, as to see if there's any difference. Now, there's a moment here. I gotta be careful. It's not looking good. Don't wanna throw it out of the water now. So I, I knew in that moment that I'd not overstepped the mark, but I was certainly pushing the boundaries of what I was capable of doing. It's very easy when, uh, well, it's actually it's actually harder to do power tests when you have no real idea as to what you're capable of doing. Now, even though these softwares can kind of model your FTP and you know you can look at like your best 15 minute power and try and estimate what you can do for 20 minutes, it's still like. It's everything can go out the window if if things not aren't going right, but if your body's responding to the power in a way that you actually thought it would respond pretty well to it. So I got to that kind of 12, 13 minute mark and I tried to up the pace and I realized that I couldn't. 
um, for one reason or another. Like I actually felt good coming into the effort, but sometimes it's uh, it's just one of those things. Like um, I actually held a pretty solid pace throughout, like 350 watts. I barely kind of, I think I barely scraped 360 for one minute. So, you know, my, my aim of doing 360 for five at one point, I never even got to. Um, so in terms of pacing it, I was pretty much, you know, after that first five minutes, and my heart rate had gone up and I was already kind of, you know, I guess settled in and my body was like, yeah, okay, we're gonna stay at this now and like, good luck trying to increase it. So like, uh, most of you will know if you've if you followed my progression, you know my background. I have quite a low heart rate, quite a low, not a low resting, but definitely a low threshold heart rate. And it takes its time to get up. And in my peak shape, when I've done twenty minute tests, my average heart rate has you know been below one seventy. It's been about one six eight, something like that. So in this one, my average heart rate was actually over 170, but the key is that it got there way before it should have got there. So a lot of factors come into play, like you know how psyched I was for, for the effort. Obviously I'm doing it live on YouTube, so it kind of like plays into it as well. I get a little bit, not nervous, but you can imagine like um, doing it in front of people, it does throw you off a little bit, but again, it's not about like trying to trying to do like a really awesome ride. It's about just getting you know the test done and out of the way. So uh, what you would have picked up on <clears throat> is how I salvaged that, um, and the power graph will come up in a second. But I salvaged the effort. Now a lot of people would have not a lot of people, um, but. Some people might, when they do a 20 minute effort, 20 minute effort's quite hard. Um, if you're very practiced at it, it becomes easier. Um, whatever easier means. But the actual effort itself, I had to be in control of it. Even when I knew at that point, when I had like seven minutes to go, that I was starting to teeter over the edge, um, I knew I had to rein it in. But you can't just like sack off the effort. You can't just say, well, you know, I've blown. You've got to remember <clears throat> that it's your best average. So as long as you just dial it back just a tad, it gives you something to give again. So here's the power graph and you can see where the cursor is now. Like I have to duck down into that yellow um, in, on the power. And that's not a bad thing. Like that's not a bad thing. If I was doing this in a real time trial out on the road, that may well have been a natural descent. Um, it obviously wasn't, but you get the idea. So I was able to still finish in the red, like in the power graph and like physical exertion, mental, like perceived effort and everything else. So it's about um, being in tune and making the decision on the fly. Now, a lot of you might have said, you know, you didn't go hard enough or, you know, if you'd have blown there, like, that would have been, uh, well, wouldn't have been, a, technically you don't fail a test, um, but you have to be very clever that, in a sense that if you know you're starting to deteriorate, there's no ego, there's, there's no need to like, push on and push on and then the last kind of three minutes, if I had kept pushing on there at that 13 minute mark, and I dropped off, what would have happened to those final three minutes? I could have, I know we say I could have, but I could have very easily uh, dropped the wattage and been, you know, barely pushing 300 watts rather than actually keeping myself in check there where I did to 320, 330, and then I was still able to go back up to like 360 at the end. So swings and roundabouts, but there's no right or wrong way to pace these tests. I just wanted to throw this up as like a, a reminder to those of you that maybe have had problems with tests before that it's completely normal and you do get better with practice. Um, and don't be so hard on yourself, like give it your best shot, pace it, and just know that it's it's always about accurate numbers and not the best numbers every time. So hope you enjoyed that. Give it a like if you did. Leave a comment down below if you have had problems piercing 20 minute tests in the past.